What's up, Capricorn? It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your October 1st through the 15th love reading. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, also Venus. This is a general love reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Some of you guys are dealing with a king of cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this love reading will not resonate with everyone, so do only take the message if it resonates with you. I just want to say thanks for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the personal readings, everything. You guys are amazing. If you guys are new, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So before we hop into this love reading, just a couple announcements. The October special is five questions, love or general, $65, normally $80. It's on my website. No promo is needed. If you guys are on Instant Go or if you have an iPhone, I would love for you guys to follow me. I am on there as fire underscore intuition. You guys can book with me on there as well. Or if you guys just have a quick question, you know, don't hesitate to hit your girl up. And we will go from there. All right. So let's hop into this love reading and let's see what we got for you guys. In love, October the 1st through the 15th. Messages for the sign of Capricorn and love, October 1st through the 15th. What is Capricorn need to know about their love life, October 1st through the 15th in love? Capricorn, I feel like this is it. Let's hop into this love reading. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Pumpkins. This is the Eight of Pentacles. All right, I am using the Halloween Tarot deck. Now the Eight of Pentacles is about a mutual understanding. This is about an equal give and take. I feel like in a current situation, you guys are probably pulling in all the weight. You know, um trying to keep a relationship together with the eight of pentacles maybe not wanting to separate maybe not wanting to end things when it came to a relationship with the eight of pentacles being here but let's see what we got for you guys that is an overall energy this can be you guys coming out of separation as well with the eight of pentacles all right capricorn so let's see what we got now um coming into the present moment we have the six of swords some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarius libra or gemini but if not, this is about you guys letting go, leaving the past behind. Maybe you guys are um, wanting to come into peace with someone. Maybe you're letting go of the past with the Six of Swords. Now, what is the challenge or what is crossing you? We have the Four of Cups. So kind of feeling lost in your thoughts, feeling rejected. It could be by a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But if not, I feel like you guys are, you know... Just not getting what you guys want out of this situation. So feeling like it's time to move on. Feeling like it's time to move forward here. Now what's on your mind? We have the king of pumpkins. The king of pentacles. So this can be your energy. Um, you guys can be dealing with another Capricorn. Um, a Virgo or a Taurus. But this could be any sign. What's on your mind is the commitment. The relationship. Okay. Wanting some type of commitment here. Now, the recent past, we have the Seven of Bats, okay, the Seven of Swords. So, there was some deception, some betrayal here in the recent past. Someone was getting away with something. So, what's on your mind? This King of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles could have been lying, could have had you in a third-party situation, or there was just a lot of manipulation. Now, the situation, we have the Ace of Ghosts, Ace of Cups. So this is you um, wanting a new beginning in love, maybe with that person. Maybe you guys just want to leave that situation and start over. But with the Ace of Cups, it's like um, you want this person's love. You want some type of new beginning in love with this person. Okay? You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But if not, I feel like the situation right here is that someone that you guys ended things with could possibly be coming back into your life, offering you guys this new beginning of love as well. Okay? So let's look at the near future. We have the strange card, okay? Some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo, but if not, this is you guys um, 
just being strong okay um confident now you're ready to move forward with or without this person now how you see yourself we have the death card this is scorpio energy maybe you could have ended it with a scorpio but if not um you're definitely wanting things to end because you want some type in the beginning we see saturn up there so this could have been some type of karmic um soulmate relationship or maybe there was some karma that needed to clear out between you guys but it looks like things are definitely going to end and start over now who or what is coming towards you we have the three of wands so this could be someone new coming in new love coming into your life this could be that person coming back into your life new with the three of wands maybe ready to compromise and move forward within the relationship maybe finally ready to like um grow the relationship so you know just focus on the commitment now in your hopes and fears we have the fool so this is aries energy but i feel like with the fool in your hopes you're hoping that you know there is going to be some type of new beginning here i feel as if you guys fear there's not going to be some type of new beginning with this person okay and for the most likely outcome we have the seven of pentacles so this is about divine timing this is about patience this is about you guys waiting okay i feel like with this seven of pentacles you guys have invested in this situation and you guys are wanting things to pay off when it comes to this love situation so let's go ahead and clarify these cards because this can definitely change things around for the reading or the reading could definitely change around or just change so let's see we got messages for the sign of capricorn and love october 1st through the 15th please give me some clarifiers for the sign of capricorn and love october 1st through the 15th so it looks like a lot of you guys are leaving the past behind if you guys are dealing with another earth sign there could be a possibility that things can change and turn around for you guys um, earth or fire sign is what I'm seeing but let's see what we got alright I feel like this is it right here alright so at the bottom of the deck we have justice some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra but if not I feel like justice is definitely about to be served alright so it looks like you guys could be getting what you want Okay, if you guys are in an unfair situation, maybe things are going to turn around. Maybe things are going to be fair. Okay, um, but let's see. Now, with the Six of Swords, clarifying that. And that was um, coming into the present moment. We have a Magician. So, it looks like you guys did leave the situation. But you guys manifested this person back into your life. Or you guys are manifesting this person back into your life. And with the Four of Cups here, clarifying that, we have the Two of Swords. So, coming out of a stalemate, then finally making some type of decision. We have the two of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. You know, it looks like you guys have been holding on to this situation for quite some time here. But with the two of pentacles, someone's definitely going to make a decision. Um, the two of pentacles is about someone juggling, weighing up their options. But with the two of swords being here, I feel like something's definitely about to change, especially since you guys have been manifesting. Yeah, there's going to be a new beginning here. Ace of Wands. So there's a chance for you guys to bring this relationship back together. Um, now, what's on your mind, this King of Pentacles? All right, clarifying the King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're definitely getting your relationship back, okay? Queen and King of Pentacles. There's definitely going to be some type of commitment here now. If you guys weren't committed before, you guys are definitely going to be committed now. Yeah, look, the higher font. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. This person might even ask you to marry them. Yeah, look, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, I can't make this shit up, okay, Capricorn? So someone's going to come in and offer you a marriage. I mean, offer you, an, um, you know, yeah, they want to offer you marriage. They want a commitment. They want something new. This is the birth of something new, something passionate, loving, okay? They want to start over. They might even want kids, all that, the whole shebang, okay? So, um, yeah. Let's look at the recent past. We have the Seven of Swords with that. So there definitely was some heartbreak. There definitely was a third-party situation here with the Seven of Swords. All right. Um, let's see. Clarify this Seven of Swords and this Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. 
So you guys could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or there could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that was a third party. And I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, you know, this person was thinking about themselves, thinking about their wish fulfillment, not thinking about yours. And, you know, they accepted an offer someone from someone or offered to someone, but they're going to wake up and realize that they've made it, you know, a mistake or that they made the wrong decision because it looks like they're coming in wanting to offer you the commitment, wanting to marry you now, wanting things to change. Now, the situation is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is about a love offer. So clarifying that, we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like for a while, the love felt unrequited. Okay, it felt as if, you know, this person was never coming back. They were never going to recover things between you guys. Clarifying that, we have the Ace of Swords. So some type of victory here. Okay, they're coming in with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So some type of victory in love. Them being honest with you, direct. Um, this is you guys talking things out, truth, clarity. And you guys are able to move forward now. In the near future, we have the strength card. So with the strength card, clarifying that, we have the lover's card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. But if not, it's like this person wants some type of strong new beginning here with the lover's card and the strength card. So they're ready for a strong relationship. They want a strong foundation. We have the nine of wands. We have the six of wands. So... Again, nine of wands, you guys went through a lot. You know, you guys could have been really defensive. There could have been some threats here. Um, a lot of arguing. Um, you could have hurt them. They could have hurt you. You guys both could have hurt each other. But we had the six of wands. So it looks like you guys are definitely overcoming the past and moving forward with victory here with the six of wands. It could be with a fire sign. Now, um, how you see yourself, we have the death card. Okay, and with that, we do have the Knight of Wands. So remember what I was just saying, how you see yourself, endings do bring new beginnings. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, Scorpio energies here as well. But they're definitely coming towards you. And look, they're coming with an offer, Page of Cups. So someone is very serious about you, Capricorn. So who or what is coming towards you? Clarifying that, look, we have the Knight of Cups. So there's going to be some type of reconciliation here. Loving it, Capricorn. And we have judgment. So someone definitely wants a second chance. Someone definitely thought things through. Someone definitely thought about something. Okay? This is about self-reflection, but definitely reconciliation, second chances. Now, in your hopes and fears, we have the fool. Okay? And clarifying that, we have the queen of swords. So I feel like with this queen of swords here... Um, you guys want to start over, you guys want this new beginning, but hoping that there's not another third party, hoping that they did cut out the other person, Queen of Swords, and with that, we have the Seven of Swords, so it looks like they definitely, you know, broke free and cut that person out, they're ready for some type of new beginning, we do have the Emperor, okay, so you guys could have been dealing with an Aries, we do have Aries energy here, or Taurus, but if not, this person is definitely ready to commit, so coming out of, you know, um, the third party or ending the third party and now ready to commit and settle down. Okay, because the emperor is here. And for the outcome, we have the um, seven of pentacles. And with that, we have the three of pentacles. So definitely divine timing, okay? You guys were patient for so long. It looks like it paid off. The three of pentacles, you guys, you know, putting plans in action, building, starting over. Um, and I... And the only reason I'm saying starting over is because if this was a third party, I feel like you guys just either um, didn't have faith or trust or anything. Like, you guys didn't know where this relationship was going. So for it to definitely turn around like this, um, I definitely feel like this is a new beginning. And we have the four of wands, so definitely something solid. You guys are going to have some type of solid, new, healthy relationship moving forward. And with that, we have the six of swords. Yeah, you guys are coming back together. The Six of Swords was the first card out. So this person would have left you and they're coming back towards you. They could be moving back in with the Four of Wands here and the Six of Swords. You guys are at peace now. Things have definitely shifted and changed. All right, so for the overall energy, we had the Eight of Pentacles. And with that, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So Virgo energy. Um, whoever is coming back into your life with this Knight of Pentacles, things are going to move slow. Okay, but the Knight of Pentacles, remember, they're really reliable, responsible, dependable. This person wants you to trust them again. And things are going to move slow, but you're going to get what you want this time. Because this person is actually going to take the time to build the relationship the right way and give you support emotionally with the Six of Cups and also rekindle the relationship. All right? So let's pull some advice.
Capricorn. And then we'll do some love oracles. All right. Please give me some advice for the sign of Capricorn and love. October 1st through the 15th. We have divine passion. And we have transformation. All right. So with the divine passion card, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? All right, Capricorn. So what are you guys, what are you guys passionate about? You know, what is your divine passion? What is it that you guys really want to do? For some of you guys, we have the King of Cups. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could be any sign. But I just feel like you guys really are ready to be in love with someone. Like, you guys are ready for someone to, like, be in love with you. Like, you're ready for something divinely guided. You're ready for something passionate. You're ready for, like, true love, everlasting love with this King of Cups, okay? We do have transformation. And it says, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Remember, we have the death card and how you see yourself. So that's definitely transformation. And clarifying that, look, we have the Ten of Wands. So releasing the burdens. Look at the Ten of Wands is like the past, finally letting go, freeing yourself. And with that, look, we got the Ace of Damn Pinnacles. Love it. So you guys are releasing the burdens, letting go of the past, coming out of something that was heavy, that was hard for you guys to come out of, but finally releasing yourself from that, and it's coming with the Ace of Pinnacles. Okay, the commitment, the offer. So this person wants to marry you. Okay? So, love it. Let's pull some love oracles. All right, so I'm going to pull three random messages. All right. We keep getting that healing card, but that's good, though. Most of the readings I've been doing been getting that, and I love that because healing, is good. we definitely need a lot of healing right now. Okay, so I love it. All right. So we have trust, healing, and embrace. With the trust card right here, we have transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I love it. I love it, Capricorn. So you guys are finally accepting what has happened so that you guys can allow this transformation to occur. Okay, we have healing. We have three cards of transformation. The death card, transformation, and trust, okay? So we have um, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. All right, I love it. And I've been saying this in every reading. I love how he's holding her. You know, how he's taking care of her. Like, you know, wanting to heal the relationship. Very passionate. Very loving. We have embraced. Through each other, you will find missing the missing pieces. Okay? And look at the back. You guys are in love with each other. You guys are the missing pieces to the puzzle. So you guys complete each other's puzzle pieces, you know? So, like, with them... Your puzzle is complete with you. Their puzzle is complete. So embrace. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, Capricorn, if you guys want to book a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. All right. Um, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, Capricorn.